everyone welcome to cv talks i had asked a couple of questions and asked you to comment for the answers i know many of you have done it now let me get on to the answers now before i get on to the answers i'm going to talk to you about two syndromes are you ready let me introduce to you two psychologists david dunning and justin kruger they did some small studies about confidence and competence in people theoretically we believe that confidence increases as the competence increases right that's what we think but practically or rather psychologically it has been proven that it need not be so and that's what dunning kruger did dunning kruger effect became very very popular in psychology that several research studies were conducted later to understand why people overestimate their skill sets or why some people underestimate their competence so i'll give you one such interesting study a group of scientists and experimenters they gave this test to high school children asking them to rate their competency or rate their knowledge level in certain mathematical principles so they were not asked to solve mathematical problems but they were asked to rate whether they will be able to solve the mathematical problems in these domains okay so they were listed around 10 or 15 Uh, such domains and asked to rate their awareness or knowledge about those subjects this is what they did interestingly the experimenters added three fictional subjects into the list subjects like uh, uh, proper numbers or conjunctive uh, uh, you know sc- scaling or something like that or i mean very weird names they they devised or designed names and put them as fictitious topics in that list <laughs> and the children rated their knowledge in that subject and guess what you guessed it right they rated themselves they they accepted that they know these subjects as well and they are ready to solve problems in that subject okay and not just that they rated themselves above average in those subjects can you believe you rate yourself above average in a fictitious subject this is what we call as dunning kruger effect now interestingly in order to become the dunning kruger uh, kruger club member the only thing is that uh, <laughs> only criteria is that you yourself is not aware that you belong to the dunning kruger club that is the major criteria in fact <laughs> anyway basically uh, this this effect or this um, uh, i would say phenomenon is very interesting because of the two sides of it okay so we have the two syndromes associated with it one is where you overestimate your capabilities i mean your competencies uh, i mean rather you are over confident about your competency whereas you are actually incompetent okay you don't know anything about the subject but still you over estimate yourself or your you know your confidence there that is what we call as armchair quarterback syndrome yeah i know you are reminded of so many social media uh, influencers probably i am also one such i don't know <laughs> but armchair quarterback syndrome simply means that you are so confident that you are not aware of your incompetence so that is on the one side but on the other side we have the opposite where you are competent but you are not aware of your competence or rather you are not ready to accept or be confident of your competence this is what we call as imposter syndrome and no points for again guessing that imposter syndrome is more in the case of women than men <laughs> in fact more than uh, 92 studies conducted in the field of women leadership a meta analysis was conducted 
and it was found that women underrated their leadership skills and management skills than men not just that men overestimated it they thought that they are more competent than what they actually were have you understand <laughs> okay now in order to prove this practically one more case study in 2015 the iceland presidential elections were happening okay and um, there were several contestants and the top four contestants out of the top four contestants was only one woman uh she is hala hala tomarden uh and he she was actually she is an investment banker i mean she was working uh, sorry not investment banker she was running an investment company as well as she was running so many other uh, you know um, enterprises and she was uh, extremely good as an entrepreneur and uh, and you know other things when she was actually asked to nominate for the presidential election by her friends she said no i am not competent i don't want to do it i i don't know anything about politics come on please leave me alone okay but somehow she was convinced by everybody and she finally submitted the nomination uh whereas iceland during those time you know 2015 itself already the reigning president was david oddson now david oddson uh you know economists and historians and everybody say that iceland's major problems in terms of economy as well as uh, social problems were uh partly because of the wrong decisions taken by david oddson during his time okay many of the mistakes he had made but despite all that he was not ready to accept it he was totally blind to his incompetence and he even thought that he is more competent to reapply and nominate himself for the presidency and he did that however during the final uh, results it came out that the first four people out of the four people hala became the second she did not win the election i mean she did not become the president but she became second imagine from zero to reaching or getting more than 28% of the votes she made it but whereas david who was thinking that he will be sweeping the elections came below hala for 14% how did this happen i'll tell you it just happened because hala though initially was a victim of the imposter syndrome slowly as the election campaigning started as the media started discussions on various topics of socio political and economic nature hala's knowledge and wisdom came out evident to the people in all her conversations in all her public appearances speeches she made it quite sure to the people that she is a better candidate than the others so though she did not win and of course the other people had a lot of money and political power that they somehow made it and though she did not win the election the point is she was able to grab a major share of the votes which she never thought she would this is a typical example of imposter syndrome underestimating your own capabilities anyway so for this video i hope uh, i was able to convey some points in terms of uh, the dunning kruger effect and how it is affecting all of us you know uh, what we see in our socio political economic scenario even in our country during this pandemic and others it is very important that we understand that we do not prey victim of the armchair quarterbacks please follow or take expert advices rather than following the armchair quarterbacks ha huh, that's all but yeah i have to give you answers for the questions which i asked here we go the first question why is english or rather when was english nominated as the official language of us <laughs> whatever answer you wrote it is wrong because english is not an official language in the united states <laughs> uh second when did uh, or rather what job did uh, walt disney do before uh he drew mickey mouse 
answer is he did not draw mickey mouse <laughs> it was drawn by another animator uh, up i works and uh, walt disney just took it for promotions third question was uh, when did uh, human beings or rather which was the spacecraft where uh, human beings laid the eyes on the great wall of china from space again we can't see the great wall of china from space that is totally wrong <laughs> it is not possible fourth and last question what are the behavioral or you know developmental changes in children who eat more of sweets answer is none because sweets doesn't have any impact on the behavior or development or growth of children it is proven <laughs> so you can have more and more sweets there's nothing wrong with it as long as you are healthy and non diabetic all right so i guess i was able to shatter some of our own beliefs that i knew about the subject always have this confident humility and that is the underlying factor i would say the dunning kruger effect actually tells us that we should be confidently humble to accept that we don't know certain things this humility actually leads us to pursue uh tools and knowledge and probably seek expertise right and this also is important characteristics that we are continuous lifelong learners in our life so each and every information or each and every person whom you meet can be of value for yourself and can uh, improve your knowledge base so be open for such things so with that i conclude today's episode you guys please stay tuned to this channel in youtube cv corner and in insta dr.cv and in fb dr.c i'll see you in the next video take good care of yourselves bye